Stephen Carrington, good morning. What more can you tell us? Well, yeah, so this all began on Sunday evening around 6 p.m. A Secret Service agent found a small bag of white powder. Uh, in order to ensure it wasn't a hazardous, uh, hazardous material, uh, they did a search. Uh, they first took it out, uh, then tested it. It was found on the preliminary um, test to be cocaine, but they've done subsequent testing and have proven for certain that it is cocaine, but it obviously raises real questions about how cocaine has come to be in one of the most secure buildings in the world. Um, the White House has been adamant uh, that this is, it has been discovered in, as they put it, a well-traveled area. And there is no suggestion at this point that uh, it was a member of the administration or of, of staff, because this particular area is accessed by people who are doing tours. Staff members at the White House are able to bring people through uh, parts of the West Wing, which is normally uh, out of bounds uh, for usual tour groups that go into the residence uh, at the White House in the, in the East uh, Wing. Uh, but you can go to the West Wing if you're accompanied by a staff member. And a lot of those tours take place either late at night or over the weekends. Um, so the suggestion from the White House is it could have been someone uh, potentially on one of these tour groups. But we did hear from the White House press secretary. She received about 15 questions uh, about this particular issue uh, and was adamant, uh, again, uh, that it, there is no evidence yet it, that linking it directly to the administration and was keen to point out that the president himself was not at the White House over the weekend. As you know, the, the, the president and the first lady and their family were not here this weekend, as you all reported on this, and as you also know that they left on Friday and returned just yesterday. Uh, where, uh, where this was discovered uh, is a heavily traveled area where many White House, uh, West Wing, I should be even more specific, uh, West Wing visitors uh, come through uh, this particular area. I just don't have anything more to share. It is under investigation by the Secret Service. Now, the White House uh, is obviously a very secure building and you do go through airport type uh, security, including metal detectors when you enter. And those people who have come in on these tours are first vetted by the Secret Service. Um, there are obviously lots of security cameras in the West Wing. Uh, the question, of course, is whether or not they were on this particular cubby, uh, which is where the substance was found, uh, which is not usually where people put their electronic devices when they're going on these tours as a security measure. Uh, but there are not drug sniffing dogs as you might find at airports. So the Secret Service is doing this investigation. The White House uh, is adamant that they can't comment on it until that investigation takes place. Uh, but obviously, uh, quite the story here in Washington, D.C. Yes, intriguing. Carrington, thank you.